Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and this is your weekly tarot guidance for the week of January 9th through the 15th of 2017. So how are January in 2017 treating you so far? Kind of off to a slow start, huh? I would think so. You know, this week, we don't have a whole lot going on, but on the 12th, we have our annual full moon in Cancer. And on the same day, we also have Mercury re-entering Capricorn. You know, it had been doing that backpedaling there for so long while retrograde, and it went back into Sagittarius. So today it's finally back into Capricorn. And, you know, when I look at the cards and I looked at what's going on, I was like, yep, yep, yep. Because, you know, everybody's wanting to get back on the road again, back on track. Let's head out and see what 2017 is about. And it's just kind of been like, eh, it's okay. I mean, it's whatever, slow start, but here we go. Okay. You know, I think that a lot of the, uh, extra responsibilities that you've had have kind of almost blocked your view of the road ahead. That's the best way that I can put it. But you want, you know what? I want to say in some sense, there is a victory this week. It may be a minor one, but it's not so much that you went out and you won something or you were battling something, okay? If the load has been too heavy and things just have been like grinding, trying to get them going, trying to get things moving, that's going to change. It's almost as if the troops show up, all right? Like things start to gel. People start cooperating. Do you know what I'm saying? Like more teamwork is involved. I, I I really like this. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. It's that post-Mercury retrograde motion. You can do your best every day to have your act together. And, you know, what everybody else does is always going to affect you. So while you may have been doing a fantastic job, the support may not have been there. So that's what's coming in. The support, the forward movement, the manifestation Wow, can't make this stuff up. I love the tarot, I'll tell you. This really is, you know, that beginning. Now, don't expect it all to happen in a day, okay? Because this is the 9th through the 15th, and, you know, the full moon and the Mercury re-entering Capricorn aren't until the 12th. So it's probably going to be like mid to late week when you start to see things instead of that grinding feeling where it's like, all right, we're gaining some traction now. We're actually getting somewhere. Because I would have given, without looking at what was going on, just saying that Mercury had gone direct on the 8th, I would have given that like, hang on till the 12th before you even give a push, because you want to get a little bit further away from that. So this is good. This is good. Now, as far as, you know, changes that you've been trying to implement, and everybody has a vision for their future and what they want, hmm, right? It, there's this kind of, all right, the past is the past. And these are my hopes and dreams. And that's what you want to manifest. And they come in all shapes and forms. It's not all about your love life. It's not all about your work life. It's not all about your family life. It's about different aspects of your life. So, you know, do you have a plan? Maybe, but I would say it's more about, you know, your vision, your vision for change. Like when, when Mercury finally gets back online and things are moving, you know, that fire returns. You start to feel good again, energy wise, when the energy starts to move. Now there's a wish in here for you this week, and it's a good one. And I, I want to say that it feels fun. But here's the interesting thing. It also forces you to, I want to say, back up, slow down, take another look, time out to reassess. All right. It doesn't matter what it's really about. The most important thing is, is that you're having that conversation with yourself. Is it true to you, the changes that are coming? Because it sure does feel good. But maybe it's maybe it's something that you didn't originally plan on. You have to stop and go, okay, this seems good, but how do I how do I make adjustments? All right. 
So there's a lot of, you know, contemplation there as far as that goes. And maybe, mm, maybe even a little bit of a sacrifice. And what, it, what are you sacrificing? Part of the plan that you originally had? It's okay. You know, we have to learn to adjust. It's one of the most beautiful things that we can do for ourselves is to be flexible as we go along and to look over all the different possibilities and points of view that are out there. So while things are beginning to pick up mid to late week, the emphasis is still on taking your time. All right. You know, Mercury doesn't leave shadow until the 27th. So you're being a methodical individual and still looking everything over. It's not like there's some big green light, you know, mistakes are still possible. So it's like, be careful, be patient, take your time, do everything in moderation. You know, you might be asked to make a choice this week. I think it's a good one. Okay. I think that you will choose the path to success. But here again, it's going to require you to hang in there for a bit, I think, to ultimately see it through to fruition. But not making any hasty moves is in your best interest. And you know what I like here? Because I see this. There is growing support for what you're doing. Okay? Now, this could be around work. It could be around anything. But there's definitely growing support. Like you feel like you have others lifting you up, helping you out. They're there. You know, it's like, I remember once years ago, there was something that I really, really wanted to do. And it's a long story that I'm not going to go into. But at the end of the day, I was like, I think there were angels here, <laughs> you know, because it happened beyond my wildest dreams. So here you are, you have a wish coming true. And I think that this is all about the support system that you need to give you the perseverance to keep on going. Very, very interesting. Okay, so here again, be flexible. It, there, There is just so much toward being balanced. All right, now around the full moon, I want to say after the full moon, things are easing up, all right, in a good way way. It, finally, the details become clearer and things start working out. I'm telling you, the 12th is like a pivotal day for you. And you're going to say, oh, okay. So there's more clarity. Organization is coming back into your life. You know, it just sounds typical post-Mercury retrograde to me, really, truly. And the full moon, I think, also helps because where you've maybe been back and forth with some decisions that need to be made, you know, and that could be what you need to eliminate, what you need to do, because I see a removal here. And, you know, you could be removing yourself from a situation or removing a person, a place or a thing from your surroundings. But there's definitely something going on there. And it's like a big reality check for you. Hmm. Big reality check. So, but it's good because not only is there more balance with it but i think oh what's the saying i'm looking for you know it's like not having all your eggs in one basket that type of thing that to me that's always important and that's not about overextending oneself i think when the week starts you still feel a little overextended by the time the week ends you feel like your baskets are in place and maybe there's one less you know maybe there's more than more than one less. I don't know. But this is kind of like fact versus fiction. And finally, it all becomes clearer about which way to go, what needs to be gone. I like this, okay? Also, wow. You know, there was... I, I'm trying to find a good way to put this. Because I want to call it a commitment. It doesn't mean... Um, a relationship like a love relationship could have been any kind of a commitment, but it really feels like there was a second individual. All right. So whether this deals with business, personal, and in the past, things didn't turn out so well. Um, there's a big change there this week. All right. Maybe it, it's not as much of a renewal as it is 
things appear to finally being like where they're getting on the same page. You know, you're seeing eye to eye. Hmm, this is interesting, okay? I know many of you out there who can relate to that with at least one individual in your lives. So, let's talk about this. All right, full moon. Always a celebration at the full moon. And this time of year also, what comes to mind? And I don't have any schedules in front of me, but we have many celebrations. Um, especially with all the people that were lost in 2016. I think as you see the celebrations coming up on TV, you know, we can um, romanticize, not, not fantasize, but when it comes to the people who are, are like our, our loved ones, in a sense, you know, we, we, it's not, how can I put the right words? Because it doesn't come out sounding right. But celebrities that really meant a lot in our lives. I mean, we've all felt the loss. Okay, so there's a lot of that going on. And I know it begins around this time of year where there's usually something on each week, some sort of a, a ceremony. But it, that's what it feels like. It feels like a celebration of life, of that love, of that family. So whatever group it is at that particular time, it's like a celebration of that family. You know, you have... Um, the Golden Globes, you have the Oscars, you have Music Awards, you know what I'm saying? I could go on and on, but those are all families of people, and they're going to celebrate, they're going to, to come forth with their tributes to those that they've lost, because they're, and here it is, yeah, here it is, you know, that standing strong against the, the betrayal of the universe and the losses that were incurred. Now, I th think that it's here because this time of year, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, more people are indoors and they're watching these things on TV. And there's been so much that has happened. So I'm not sure if there's any this week, but you're gonna see um, special segments about people. You know, they do a lot of them at the end of the year but I believe there's going to be more because there's such a significant impact in what happened. Now, wow, here we have a wonderful side-by-side -side energy. It's what I like to call an equal vibration. Now, were it showing it as a love thing, it would be awesome. <laughs> but it's not. But there's drastic change, okay? Drastic change. And... I want to say, see, I was talking about that, you know, that renewal that's coming. And it's almost as if to say that the big change is some form of repair mode. Hmm. You know, I think everybody has at least one relationship of some sort in their life that needs a little mending of fences. It needs to be worked on. And the possibility most definitely exists here. So this is a very interesting week. Uh, seeing which way some of you are going. I mean, you know, some are, you know, you have to keep in mind in the coming weeks we have eclipses. We have Venus retrograde. So not all relationships are going to make it to June. That's for sure. But there is the possibility of one's which need fixing, being fixed. There's a few of you that come to mind out there when I look at this, and I think it's a good thing. But here again, it's a take your time kind of thing. You know, this isn't a jumping into making things a certain way. Now, I have to tell you, this time around, whatever this commitment is, you know, I should, I should be Googling Dr. Seuss right now. Because there's that excerpt from one of his books about no one being youer than you. You know what I'm saying? All right. That is one of the most important things about any type of a relationship. And you've heard me say this so many times about equality and no one person is above another. 
And very often, especially in love relationships, people get into relationships and they totally lose who they are to that other person. And then when things don't work out, that person is gone. They think their life is over and they can't live without this person. The truth of the matter is, is that they let their whole persona, their whole identity become what this other person was about. So if you have an opportunity for renewal, it's important to remember to be you, all right? If you can be accepted for who you are, this doesn't matter if it's at, on the job or at home, in your marriage, in your love life, there are some big indicators of change here. Very positive change, you know, freedom, balance, you name it, new beginnings. And this is also something important to remember too. If you've been in a position where you've kind of been following and not leading, it's time to sort of take the lead and balance things out. That's what I'm saying. Things, they're, whatever this is about, they need to become side by side. They need to become equal. That's where your fairness comes from. That's where your you-ness comes from. Because you're at a time in your life when you should be allowed to function as yourself and be accepted for it. That is so, so important. In, you know, today's day and age, uh, sadly, there's too many people out there who don't accept people for who they are. You know, too much bigotry, racism, and uh, homophobia, you name it, whatever's going on out there. And this is showing me that being able to be around people and being yourself. And it's so, so important to you. All right. There is uh, some huge change here. All right. With the establishment. Well, this could very well have to do with that impending inauguration in the United States. Yeah. There's a lot of change coming there and a lot of, uh, a lot of guidance needed to be honest with you. I, I think many people will need some help along the way with that, but we'll see how that goes. That's not something that usually crops up, but it's here and you know, people will be talking about it no matter where in the world they might be, but big change is on the horizon. But I like this for the personal things that are coming in. The, the two biggest things are the support system that you've been looking for, you know, with the movement that helps move you forward, but at a pace that, you know, still needs to be paced. It's not a fast one. And this finally getting on the same page with another party regarding something. So that's good. Uh, it's a positive week. Might start off feeling a little unsure. But I think when it ends, you're going to go, hmm, what just happened? All right. And kind of have to take it from there. So I want to thank you all for listening. I hope that you had a chance to check out all of the wonderful guidance. It's on Patreon, the 2017 Tarot Guidance, all of the Zodiac Sun Signs Tarot Guidance, as well as, um, you know, Venus, the full moon, everything that's it's coming up for this month. So take care. Have a great week. And I'll see you here again next week.